guys. So this is going to be about your person that's on your mind and how they're currently feeling. Three piles to choose from. The first pile here is the Orion's Animal Tarot. Pile two is the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. And then pile three is the Penelope Tarot. Okay, so there'll be a little bit of a meditation after the intro. If you want to take a deep breath, focus on which pile you're most drawn to. And timestamps for everything will be down below. And I'll see you at your pile. Hey, Pile One, so if you chose the Orion's Animal Tarot, this is going to be your reading. Okay, so we're going to start with just a few oracles because I want to be able to get an overall look at exactly what we're, what you're dealing with here with this person, um, what their overall energy is at this time, possibly anything about the connection that I need to know so that we can get a good understanding. And how are they currently feeling about Paulin? How are they feeling about Paulin's current energy? Proper offering. We have Miss Winter and Planetary Vibes. We have Fanda out. bottom of the deck okay so I feel like your person is in a position to where they may be feeling a little bit stuck um, when it comes to being able to understand where they sit here with you um, there's this feeling of feeling like something is going in the right direction or it's meant to be but then feeling stuck and having some confusion around that there being a little bit of mystery around that um i do feel like that either this person wants to offer you something or they're waiting for you to offer them something um they could be also sitting in a position to where they want to have something to offer you there's this feeling of proper offering where there's a new cycle that this person may want to implement, but they want it to be something that is proper or that they feel like they have something to con contribute to you or, or give to you in some kind of way. And they feel a little bit stuck about that. They feel like maybe things are a little bit stagnant at this time or there's some kind of setback. Um, fanned out here is at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like that your person either is sitting in a place to where they're willing to be vulnerable here or they're willing to open themselves up here to something. It's like someone that wants to be available um, to you. Um, I think this may also be something this person's af afraid of or kind of concerned or worried about is what where the limits are or where the restrictions are, what kind of boundaries that you'll have with them. Um, okay, let's get some tarot. I know I'm not very super talkative today, I'm sorry. <laughs> I um, just did a really long meditation and I'm kind of out of it, to be honest. But <laughs> that also means that I'm very tuned in as well, so very focused. That's a good thing. So be thinking about this person that's on your mind and what it is that you really want to know about this person. Any kind of question that you have, perhaps it could come out in this reading. Also, any kind of sign that you want to ask for. 
that will give you a better indication that this is your reading. Sometimes you see the sign after the reading as well. Either a word or a symbol, animal perhaps, because this is the animal tarot. Um, maybe you've seen a certain animal. Okay. How's Pile One's person currently feeling about Pile One? Five of Cups, that came right out. This is a heavy energy that's here, this Five of Cups. It's always a heavy energy, but with your person, it's like I felt the need to take a really deep breath. So it's kind of like someone that is, there's a lot of concern that's here that I feel. And it's concerned about, I feel like this person doesn't feel like they're actually in the best position. Um, there's a little bit, I'm, I'm going to be honest, there's a little bit of, there's sadness here and there's a little bit of lost kind of feeling with your person about this. I think this person's missing you as well. If you're in no contact with this person, if you are in contact with this person, there may be some kind of density to the relationship at this time, um, that's causing a feeling of sadness, okay? Whatever that, that means to you guys. Could be different for everybody. It could even be maybe issues around the relationship. Um, Six of Pentacles. I think that this person really wants to, to give to you. Um, I think that they want to, if they have been, it's like they want to give more to you. But there's something to do with it wanting to be a proper, you know, wanting to give something that's worth value. Um, this person could be wanting to spend more time with you, wanting to be around you. You go from that five to that six of pentacles. So that five of cups is sadness and that six of pentacles is wanting to um, give to someone, you know, wanting to be around someone. King of cups, Scorpio energy. Just someone that's trying to contain their emotions. They're trying to balance their emotions here. You have a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's Capricorn for me, but um, or Taurus for me. Some people see it as Capricorn. It reminds me, it's so close to the Empress energy, which is Taurus and Libra. We don't see that here because I think that this person is not sure about expansion, not sure about growth. Um, because they, I feel like this person may not know where they actually sit with you. They may feel a little bit left out. Um, this Queen of Pentacles, there, there also may be some insecurities that are taking place with this person. Um, this could be have to do with their stability in some kind of way. Some kind of insecurities around this person. You could be bringing this out in this person, like insecurities that they have around their stability or where they are or their foundation of where they are or something to do with the material world or something like that as well. Um, okay, the star just came out in reverse, which is Aquarius energy. Yeah, it could have to do with where they stand or where they sit or what they've accomplished here in the star energy. It's like this person may also have some sort of wish. There's a lack of stability around feeling hopeful as well. Um, this person may be sitting in a position to where they feel like they're losing faith. That things are going to go in a good direction or work out in their favor. There's definitely this worry around healing as well, something that they'll have to heal from. Tell me about the Five of Cups. The Five of Swords. There's, there's been, could have been some sort of conflict between you and this person. Um, or they're mentally conflicted about things that they could possibly regret or 
ha feeling sad. This is like someone that feels like they're either in a position or could be in a position to where they're putting their heart into um, an unpredictable situation. There's sadness around that. This is like someone that doesn't want to get their hopes up or has got their hopes up. But because they've been kind of wanting to maintain a sense of, of staying realistic or not putting a heavy expectation on something or thinking about that, it's kind of made them a little bit sad um, because they're, they're pressing, you know, they're trying to stay emotionally stable and they're suppressing their emotions that they actually do feel or want to feel. So they're limiting themselves in their heart space. They're limiting, limiting how they feel or they're trying to so that they're not disappointed, but it's, it's kind of backfiring, you know? Um, there also could be for some of you, some sort of conflict that occurred or is current that they feel like they feel sad about or regret, or they're not happy with, they're kind of not happy where things are with that that five of swords it can be a betrayal um the five of swords so either they betrayed you or there's a betrayal that's around this um strength here leo energy this is about somebody wanting to give in their emotions but they're trying to be patient with they're limiting themselves. This is someone that's limiting themselves and it's causing them to be sad. Um, they do have a lot of understanding internal, in, internally that they want to give to this situation. That's what they're kind of suppressing though. Um, hold on. A three of cups. The Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords in reverse. I think this person isn't wanting to invest or wanting to progress with a friendship here or a emotional connection, but they're unclear about that with you. I think that they don't know where you stand or where you sit with them when it comes to that. You have Aquarius energy here. There may also be some third party interference here. I have to say that with that three and that five that's over there. It kind of can insinuate that for some of you. This could also be have to do with work for some of you. That could be that third party thing. There could be a, there could be someone that this person, I feel like that they just don't know what, how you want to work with them when it comes to this connection. What what they're actually... See, the King of, King of Swords is in reverse. He's unclear about the plan. The Eight of Pentacles is about working together with someone. And that Three of Cups is a friendship. It's a, it's a connection. It's an emotional connection. So I think that they're unclear about where they kind of sit with you or what you want. Yeah, two of wands. That's the plan. Their plan here moving forward is to remain emotionally imbalanced with themselves. So they're not going to be expressing themselves until that they until they find a sense of understanding here. Um so I think they may be basing this connection off of a friendship at this time for some of you. King of Pentacles in reverse. The Hermit. That's Virgo energy. This person, there, there is this fear about them coming out of their shell. There's a fear that they have about opening up. They may, they may be 
afraid that you don't want commitment or that you're very self-focused at this time with that Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like their understanding here or the way that they understand who you are, how you are at this time. You may be someone that comes across as just maintaining or protecting your peace here um, or not wanting something committed. This could even be something that you've expressed to this person with that hermit being in reverse. I also feel like they're, they're unclear about that fully. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is gradually progressing here, moving towards you slowly because they don't have a lot of faith in this. There's a lot of worry here with this person. And I think it has to do with an ending. Whether things have ended or will end or how they will end. And being disappointed or being com there being conflict. This is like getting into something that you feel like is going to end in conflict or it has. Yeah, Queen of Swords. So this person's, I think they're trying to main, I think they're trying to be smart here. Um, Libra energy. I think they're trying to be wise in their decision and, and use what they know up until this point. They may... This is someone that I feel like wants communication or desires communication here with you. Um, or it's just understanding, you know, in general. Like, they just want to understand. You have a chariot in reverse because cancer energy. They want to be able to get their self into an emotionally balanced place where they feel safe and confident where they are here with you. Um Tell me about the Father Cups and the Five of Swords. The Eight of Wands. They may feel like things are moving very quickly or they're afraid to communicate to you their fears or their disappointments or all this energy of them possibly having regrets here or being conflicted about a betrayal or something like this. Like they want to communicate this to you, but they're worried about that. They're worried about communicating these concerns too soon, too quickly. Um, this could also have been a conflict that you've had with this person that happened very abruptly. That they're still sad about or they're still upset about. This could be a fight that happened very, very fast, you know? Um, yeah. The Six of Cups in the reverse. There could be um, someone that this person has um, some sort of contract, soul contract with that, that's from their past that may um, giving to this situation may have brought up some things with that. The Six of Cups is when you you're carrying something from the past that's heavy um, with someone from the past that's heavy. Um, and there's patience around this. There's, this could also be someone else that this person's either in their life or in your life. You may share a past with this person. I'm going to come back to that. There's something else that's there. Just give it to me. What is it? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It could be why there's a there's a false start or a halt of some sort here. This is like someone that resurfaces and you and you don't want to lose an opportunity to give to this situation, but there's also something that is delaying it as well. This is someone that's holding the pinnacle here, but not giving the pinnacle. Because there's something in the way. This 
For some of you, maybe someone that's even holding on to someone else because they don't want to miss an opportunity with that person if this is something that doesn't work out. Just there for some of you. It may be someone that they're not even interested in. Ace of Cups. Or they're not even that interested in. Um, I didn't even point this out, but you have two fives here and two sixes here. Of course, we're missing seven because that's the number besides the star here, but so never, I'm a, oh, no, we have seven here, the chariot. But they're both in reverse. It's a, the blockage here is this, is how this aligns with this person, trying to understand and figure that out. This is the offer. This person may have had some things happen in their past that didn't go over very well when it comes to offering something stable, like a commitment. Um, this is also someone that could be wanting an, a relationship but afraid to not have a commitment here in this, which is that safety or that security, that protection of it, right? Um, this is someone that may not want to also open up about their feelings here if they don't feel like that it's going to be a solid opportunity because they don't want to ex be vulnerable and express themselves even though they want to do that. They don't want to do that and it backfire on them. And that may have been something that's happened with this person in their past. Okay, I'm gonna get off of that for a second because there's a lot of different scenarios with that. This person may just, in the past, they didn't get an opportunity to express how they felt and they don't wanna lose this chance now. Come about the King of Cups with that Two of Wands. Yeah. Two of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, you are disconnected from this person or you, there's not a, there's a lack of trust that could be here. That's one of their things. Like I wanna make plans here go for, to go forward, but I don't. I can't trust the relationship or I, I'm not, sh I'm un unsure about where we sit, um, where I stand with you and I need to remain emotionally balanced within myself about this. Um, because if I go just giving my feelings to the situation, I could be putting myself in some sort of possible heartbreak or pain, um, or disruption, you know, in, in, in their life in some kind of way. They may also be disconnecting from someone else planning to. Or planning to um because you have the six of cups in reverse the two of cups in reverse and that queen of pentacles in reverse tell me more about that yeah the seven of one so the challenge here if there is someone else the challenge is expressing something to someone else Either way, this is about this is about this person actually expressing that the challenge here is the lack of commitment. You know, there's this this really this big need, and and that's why I talked about Taurus energy here. Um, Taurus, which is you know Venus, the planet of love, and Tauruses have to have this groundedness, you know, I have is what they represent. And I'm a Taurus in Venus, actually. And I can tell you that it's this feeling of you have to be able to have some sense of safety or security within your heart. Um, you have to feel grounded within your heart. It's not really an airy energy um, or a watery energy. It's it's like I need some kind of sense of safety and security here, which is what Taurus, you know, represents is that possessions of what it is that you have. You have to be able to, you want to hold on to what it is that you want, you know, and this is someone that's not expressing their need for that here. And that's, I think, the biggest challenge is 
not doing that. And they're not doing that because Well, they're not doing it because they don't have faith in the situation. It just all comes back around to security. I think that they're trying to hold on to this, too. I think that this person's trying to be patient with how they give to the situation until they understand the situation. So if this is, for some of you, if this is someone that's returning, they're returning in this way. Um... But they want to be vulnerable, and they are, they are to some extent. But I think that's also kind of a challenge for this person. The lovers, that's why. This person, this, I think this person wants a relationship with you. I think they see you as, um, this is like, I don't want to get my hopes up about something. So I'm going to take it slow. That's what, that's exactly what that is. Gemini energy here in Aquarius. This is someone that sees, um, value in this relationship as far as the two of you. I mean, the lovers is about two people that go together well, work together well. Someone that you see as someone that is a could be a partner, soulmate, um, and it's a choice that you make. But with the star in reverse, there's a lack of faith in that. So the conclusion here is to move slowly. With that Knight of Pentacles. Anything that we need to know about this person that we don't? Justice is here. Death is at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy and you have Libra here with justice. Um, the bottom of the deck being death, it's, it's, there, this person is getting to a conclusion here, closing out some cycles, starting something new, or and, and there's some things that they're having to let go of or some things that are resurfacing. This person may be trying to change their, their I they want that too. This person wants change. Yeah, because they want security. But they're, they feel just stuck with how things are going um, and whether or not you're available to them. There's that Four of Pentacles. I was feeling this Four of Pentacles when I was describing Taurus energy earlier. It's in reverse here. This person wants freedom from things changing. They don't want things to change. That's what I said earlier. They don't want things to change here. That's why they haven't expressed themselves in the way they really want to. And I think this there's more fear around that than anything else because of justice. What's fair? You have the devil and the seven of pentacles. This can be starting a foundation built around lies. Um or toxicity, like starting a relationship that's based off of fear, or the you know, the toxicities or betrayals or lies or something that's here from the devil with the seven of pentacles. So it's like this person is afraid of this in a way because they feel like there's some toxicities around because, because there's some kind of toxicities around this that it's not going to have, a, it's not going to come out very well. You know, it's like the seed that's being planted is rotten, so it's not going to grow right. This is what this person's afraid of, or they're, it's like they're imagining that that's what's going to happen. There's a lot of, this. there's not a lot of hope here. But I think this person's kind of 
doing that to themselves because I feel like they're trying to not get their hopes up. So instead their hopes are going way down. You know what I mean? Um, Capricorn energy is there as well. They're afraid. I mean, the devil's fear. They're afraid of investing here into this and it not growing well. Um, and there's a lot of different reasons why this person feels that way. There's a lot of things that you can say to yourself of this isn't this isn't going to work out because of X, Y, and Z. Um, and I'm afraid to invest into this. It's when justice comes to call. Like, you want to do something, but you're afraid of it coming back around on you. Or you want to do something, but you know the scales have to be balanced at some point. You know, and how is that going to work out? And what if it doesn't work out good? You know, it's there's risk that's involved with that. We have unblock me. I miss you. I want to connect. Please unblock me literally or energetically so that we can speak. I have a lot to say. So for some of you, that's the case. Or it's just this person's missing you or they feel blocked. I mean, you have this stuck energy in the middle of your spread there with Miss Winter. Twin Flame. So this is like this... The Two of Cups, the lovers, it's its like um, a connection where you feel like you you and this other person mirror each other a lot of, in a lot of ways. You activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me to heal in ways that no one could. Thank you again for, thank you again for finding me this time around. So for some of you, this isn't your first go with this person or you, again, with that Six of Cups may know this person. From before in some way or you've had an experience already nervous yeah that's why they're stuck really they're nervous for things to change or to lose you I feel um you make me nervous even when thinking about you I get nervous I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you I was picking up on that here this person may they may have like they they may feel like sometimes they don't know how to exactly present themselves in front of you. This is like when someone mirrors off the other person and they're not going to say anything if the other person doesn't say anything. You know, it's like two it's like two people that are nervous. Yeah. Just two people are nervous to how much they should give in a situation or how vulnerable they should be or how open they should be. And you could play off of each other with that. That could represent that twin flame energy, playing off each other when it comes to that. And lost. Yeah, I feel lost without you. This person misses you. Um, it's the five of cups right off the bat. Yeah, this lost feeling, though, is also, I feel like, someone that feels lost in the situation because um, of all this stag stagnant energy that's here. We have soon. I'm going to contact you soon. Unblock me. <laughs> Maybe you need to do that if the person wants to talk to you. Not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time and energy for a relationship. This could be something, an impression that this person gives, or this could be something that you've said to this person as well. Could be part of that mirroring energy. Like the two of you may also be sitting in a position to where that's the case. Um, in my dreams. Yeah, this person's nervous about having ex any kind of dream here with you. Wishful thinking. I've been dreaming about you and my dreams were, were so free and in love. Wish that I could stay there forever. This person may have a lot of dreams about you that may make them nervous. <laughs> have my kids. Um, so kids may be relevant here, important. Maybe you or this person both have kids and that's part of this in some way. Or kids are relevant, but, and it could be that this person's wanting kids, or it says, I want to have a family with you. 
I know that you'd be an amazing parent and I dream of the day that I can experience raising a family together. This person may feel like they don't have a lot of people around them. So they're very protective over who it is they do let in because if they don't have a lot of people around them, I'm speaking from experience here. <laughs> I don't have a lot of family, um, like immediate family besides my sister. So like when you allow people in, you have to really feel really safe and secure with that person if you want to be vulnerable with them because those are like, when you're close with somebody, you develop a deeper relationship with them. And so if anything happens there, it can be more painful. So this could be something here. This person may feel lonely at times or lost at times and they feel or they want to be, they, it's like they feel a sense of safety or security with you, but they can't allow themselves to feel it, which is why they're feeling this whole way altogether. It also could be that this person may be trying to protect their kids here um, from loss. Need time to heal. So if, there, if there's children here and they've been a part of some kind of heavy loss in some kind of way, they may be in a position to where, or that could happen, they could be in a position to where they're trying to allow them to heal at this time so they don't want to um, kind of shake things up in any kind of way. It says, right now I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you, it's about me. Okay. We have, is it true at the bottom of the deck? And it says, I heard that you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. So this person could be worried about that or thinking about that. Or if you already are with someone, they could be thinking about that. There's fear around this. For some of you, I feel like I'm reading past tense, um, which timelines are different. For everybody. I just saw nervous again. Um, what's going to be shifting? We have twin flame again. There's double confirmation there. Um, this person is a mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. What's going to be shifting here? Difficulties. Jealousies from other may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. I saw that earlier. I kind of picked up on that. Six of Cups in reverse and there being some kind of past that's not, um, that's negative in some kind of way or someone. I could see this is not, not being the best or negative in some kind of way. Um, difficulties is what's shifting. So, pay attention to the signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidences. I think there's going to be a shift in the difficulties that are here in this connection at this time. Put trust in yourself. Loving yourself makes more you are more romantic and attractive. Keep the door open. Don't be focused on the closed door that you don't see which one is open. I think there's this feeling of, I mean, there is this feeling of going for it because I think that this person too feels like this connection is something that fits, like is divinely guided. Um, they may be getting a lot of signs or synchronicities about this relationship. I think that there's some difficulties that are going to subside here for the reconnection itself because it says put yourself first. So someone may be trying to put themselves first, which is blocking out some difficulties or things that are making this connection difficult for some of you. This could just be within themselves. I think this is your energy as well, though. It's like this person is making things a lot more complicated um, mentally for themselves than they have to be. 
And when you start putting yourself first, that's when you start to realize that a lot of the worries and fears come along with other people and not, not just, you know, what you need to be doing. Um, you have actions speak louder than words here. So if you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they're doing. <laughs> You also have a uh, loving, oh, I think I already read that. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. Bottom of the deck, you are enough. The person that you're meant to be with will love you the way that you are. You don't need to change. I think that there's some insecurities that are coming into play with this too, especially if it's a twin flame type of connection, which is basically, that's just, two people that are mirror each other very intensely. So if that's going on, then there can be some insecurities that come up to the surface um, where you're having to work through those. In other words, if you look at someone and you see them as being, you know, really great, that's telling like a mirror image to yourself that that's something that you aren't secure with within yourself. And it it can kind of put you in a place to where you nervous. Yeah. <laughs> you're afraid to express yourself. You're nervous. You're not as open to be yourself here, which is something that we've seen throughout this whole thing. Advice for Paul 1, please. Advice for <laughs> Paul 1. We have number 12, embrace your life purpose. I'm guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. And then we also have an affirmation. Can I have an affirmation, please, for Paul 1? Which is friendliness. Whenever I smile, I make someone's day better. What a cool way to buy happiness for free. Today, I will remember that what an awesome power I have and I'll take joy in improving lives simply by giving away grins like crazy. Note, in a pinch, money will always work. <laughs> um, this, the, the point of this is to not look at it so scary. I think when this person does approach you, and I do feel like that they're trying to figure out what they want to say or how they want to say it at this time. Um how they want things to grow or transform. And it, and it may be something that they're not fully expressive about, but they are keeping some, somewhat to their self. Um, they're trying to use their intuition when it comes to that. And I think that this is saying that, I think they're kind of telling you here to continue to work on yourself and what you need to be doing and, and being very expressive of yourself still in this. Try to be yourself here. Um, I want, they're just kind of pointing this out to me that this isn't as scary as what it's, what it seems, what it's kind of coming out to be or the way that you're making it feel. I think that there's a lot of the both of you, there's a lot of, it's like, it's like when you're really afraid to do something and then you do it and then it's like, oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like you're really afraid to go put yourself out there in some kind of way. And then you're like, this is terrifying. I'm really afraid to do this. But then you do it and it's like, why was I so afraid of that? <laughs> it wasn't anything like what I, it's, I had all these fears for no reason, you know, and you made it harder on yourself. So working through that is something that I see here. We have some charms. We have peace which is the, the Rotary Club here, <laughs> um, Peace Through Service. So I feel like there is a little piece of dead grass in my bowl for whatever reason. My son keeps picking grass and bringing it in the house. <laughs> there is a piece of it there. So yeah, being afraid of pulling something too soon or something not lasting time. Have patience. That's what they're saying. Have patience here. Allow for time and peace through service. There's this energy here of you being of service or to service of others or having a life purpose or focusing on this in some kind of way to kind of 
help your help yourself get past the anxieties here you know we have the angry um the angry head lego <laughs> um so if you hold in too many emotions or this person's doing this is is when they can come out in an unhealthy way so that's something that's there could be it's just advice you do have the little um wine in the bucket which also always reminds me of a date but it could also be that there could be a date that's really important or a date that's important or wanting to to date um wanting to celebrate is something that's here as well so yeah then this friendliness there's this energy and we saw that three of cups earlier with that eight of pentacles to work on the friendship or work on the connecting with each other you know to just to work on connecting with each other working something out you have a strawberry here which is about um indulging <laughs> for me being afraid to indulge too much in a relationship is something that could be here but also this just enjoying the sweeter things you know what i mean like and being able to enjoy yourself you have the sun energy so there's leo which is about clarity and success. There's this big energy of, I just heard, don't, spill, don't be sad, be happy. And there's a song, um, hold on. Don't be sad, be happy. Yeah, it's, it's anyway, I, don't, I can't think of it now. It just like disappeared. Um, no worries, be happy. That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, and that's just the overall energy that's here. We have S, um, I, and O. IOS. And the hashtag. So I. <laughs> Um, there's more to this. There's more that will unfold here as well. You don't have to be in such a big hurry for things is something that's coming out. Um, also you and this person may communicate through, um, social media in some kind of way or, you know, Something like that. Or they may send you some kind of message or something about expressing something. What? What now? <laughs> I just I almost was done with this reading. What is that about? There's somebody, I feel like this person's going to express something. Uh, I just saw the Three of Cups again. And the two of, two of wands in the reverse. So it could be plans not working out or not coming together in the way they want. What is what is that? I'm picking up on. The five of wands in reverse with temperance. The eight of pentacles in reverse. There's something that's going to have to go on a has or will go on a break. Pause. To be making amends or this is that difficulties or those outside influences that are here so needing to wanting somebody wanting to heal a situation taking a break taking a step back to work on something or get past this can be something someone here as well that wants to kind of there's a sense of finding balance or peace within outside influences. This is something that they want to talk to you about, okay? It won't resonate for everybody. I feel like it's pretty heavy, though. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you here. I just went somewhere else there at the end of your reading. <laughs> um, so thanks for being here. Thanks for all your love and support and all your kindness, of course. Um, I hope this helps. Good luck to you guys. Sending you love and light. And I hope to see you soon.
Hey Pile 2, so she chose the Intuitive Night Goddess Tarot. This is going to be your reading. Alright guys, so we're going to pull some oracles first to start. This is going to really give me an overall look at kind of your person's energy and how they're overall feeling about the situation. And then we'll get details here and more in depth with the tarot. So, pile two. Pile two. Like I was telling pile one, I spent a long time in a long meditation. <laughs> So I am a little bit out of it. Pile two. How's Pile two's person currently feeling towards them? Creeping doubt, hesitation, and a hand of fate. Battlefield. Twin Flame. I already saw that once. I think this person's kind of going to war with themselves. We have Follow the Signs here. At the bottom of the deck. I do feel like this person is kind of going to war with themselves about how it is that they do feel. Um, I think that you and this person may have had some conflict or arguments, or you may just not simply being on the same page as one another. There's a lot of that energy that's here is not being on the same page as each other. And I feel like this person's trying to maybe follow your lead or they are There may be certain things that this person's picking up on where they feel like there's no, it's not a coincidence. Things are happening here and it's it's not a coincidence that this happened at this time and for this reason. It's not a coincidence that, you know, I'm in this position to where I'm not on the same page. Maybe even from someone that they're currently with or they're not on the same page as far as you at this time and there could be some kind of right person, wrong timing that goes into play here. Um, not that it's not going to happen, but there's this question of that and this hand of fate, like, well, there's hesitation because this seems like a fated event. This seems like a fated relationship, but there's, the two of you may not be on the same page or there's some kind of argument around that. This is someone, this person feels like you're someone that could change their life significantly as well. Or you have. Um, and they struggle with that here. And there's this doubt that's creeping in around that. Around this being something that's faded. It's like when you, the circumstances fit just right, but then you still hesitate or question, question that because... You know, there's this doubt that there's just, like, no way that this is all going to, like, just work out. <laughs> you know, like, there's this doubt that creeps in. Um, but there's things that aren't in this person's control that that has been occurring, which is making them question, is this <laughs> supposed to be happening? Is this them there could be some weird things going on with this person as well that they pick up on. Like they may be seeing signs of you, um, maybe hearing your name or just something coming up. It's very synchronistic. It's very kind of different for this person. And it's also pressuring them in their want or need to figure this out. But this person's fighting with their fantasy and reality here in a way and what they're getting from the universe it's like it's not 
all of it is, it's not adding up in the right way. It's because they're skeptic, skeptic. About this relationship. Interesting feeling. It's not an accident or coincidence. This is something, there's like awakening energy here, like someone that's waking up to something that is very different from what they've experienced before. So this relationship could be something this person feels like is very different. Um, there's some arguments around, around this relationship. This person is, I think, I think conflicted about, again, that reality and fantasy or unrealistic or something that's kind of like um, blowing their mind in a way. Um, about this relationship. This person may be someone that's usually very grounded. Um, and this relationship is very different from what they've experienced before. Um, this person's feeling. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I was just thinking about change because <laughs> that's the number five and five is that number of change. And you have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse here and it's called change in this deck. So there's that fixed energy, right? There's this, I know I just paused for a long minute. Um, there's a very fixed energy. So it's like someone that's trying to pull them out of their belief or out of their idea of what they see a relationship, you know, um, or who they are. You may be someone that question this person, it causes them to question who they are. Um, yeah, the Four of Swords in Reverse explains it. This Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is, a, is again, that fate. This is somebody that could be wanting to change the direction of where they are, and they're overthinking it. I think this connection also brings up a lot of significant changes for this person, and that could be something that's hindering this connection and the way they see things. doubting or being skeptic that things will work out because of that the significant amount of changes that would be here and they're overthinking that somewhat the sun in reverse leo energy there's they don't have a clear way of seeing things because they think this person gets in their head about the changes that would have to occur you have an eight of wands in the reverse. So that's what's causing a delay. It could be causing a delay in communication. Um, they're searching for clarity here. They want to be happy. This person wants to be happy, but they don't know for sure what will make them happy. The nine of pentacles. This is someone that is single, or could be single, or want to be single. Um, the nine of pentacles pre-empress energy, so it's it's someone that is focused on themselves or their own happiness or stability um, and what it is that they do have. And this could be a factor or a fear factor here as well, someone that's worried about being on their own or independent um, or single or protecting what they have as well. So when you have someone that feels good, they've grown this, they're stable, they're secure, they're happy, satisfied where they are, and then you have, you're looking at a situation where there could be significant changes within that. Someone may have red hair. I don't know why I just saw red puffy hair. Um, 
but there could be some significant changes in that. It can cause this person to be very concerned or worried about losing their sense of stability. It's so weird because it's kind of like pile one, but instead of an emotional way, it's more tangible for this person. Like physically, there would be a lot of changes that would take place or that internally they feel like a lot of changes taking place. Their thought process, how they're thinking, why they're thinking about things and how they're thinking about things. You've ever met someone that causes you to explore things mentally in your head that you didn't, things that you weren't familiar with or thought about before? It's like the color purple. <laughs> you know, grape and purple, it's like something to do with the, also they're pointing me to the crown chakra here as well. Why? This person's, there's something to do with this person and poor judgment. Maybe this person has at times had poor judgment. So that's something that's interfering with this connection. It can also be that they lack imagination. So they, again, could be someone that's very grounded. So you coming and pulling them out into that is, it's like they're trying to remain stable and not be too far off with something. This could also be someone in their life that lacked stability and now they have that. So they're very protective of what they have and anything that can cause any kind of significant change, especially if this is someone that's built something up, which the Nine of Pentacles is, you go from that investment to working on something to having it. And um, yeah. There's something to do with gossip here as well. Being afraid of gossip, perhaps. Or hearing gossip. Something about gossip. Um, five of Pentacles. I was going to say something about... I, I went off into something else, guys. But I was going to say something about the color purple and... The differences. What was I talking about? Maybe it'll come back to me. They took me in a different direction with it, and I got lost. It's someone that can't fully see beyond the physical, okay? Someone that struggles with that, and you may be very opposite of that with this person. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This is what they're thinking about. Um, Ten of Swords here in reverse. There's the change again. It's like somebody that's also saying, do I really want to go through something again as well? Um, being afraid of that. I mean, this is someone that's just afraid of things changing. Um, but then they struggle as well with this hand of fate. So fated relationship. And what's good for them. Yep. The Ten of Swords in reverse, it could be that, that you and this person have had some sort of ending or they're just trying to prevent some sort of painful ending. They want to stay away from destruction, you know. They want things to transition or go smoothly. They don't want to be left out in the cold. This is someone that may just... If things change, they could be left out in the cold in some kind of way. This is something they may be trying to avoid with that Ten of Swords being in reverse. Um, Knight of Cups here in reverse with that Wheel of Fortune. This could be changing a relationship or changing your emotions or, or offering emotions. Um, being afraid something isn't what you thought it was. That's something that's here. So not allowing them to take full risk, you know, you have a five of cups in reverse when I said that. So it's just about, and that six of cups. Yep. 
This is someone that doesn't want to, this is someone that, hold on, there's like three different things that popped in my head at one time and I'm having to sort through that. Um, this is someone that is overthinking this because there's the six of cups here. So they're, they're looking at their past and things that they've done or said or, or have acted that they regret and they don't want to re-experience some things here. This is also someone that doesn't want to um, be disappointed in the connection. They don't want to be disappointed here. This is why this is bringing up a lot of this overthinking. Um, they don't want to make the wrong decision. This is someone that feels sad and they want to get over that. Um, this could also be someone that doesn't want to hurt someone else as well, or they don't want to regret not making memories. And they overthink that. This is someone that thinks about the things that they could miss out on. Um, yeah, whether it's with you, someone else, or where they are, independence. This is someone that focuses a lot on what they could actually be missing out on. Um, these are these, if I did this, if I did that, if I did this, what would the outcome be? Um, and what would I be missing out on in each scenario? This is something that they think about or they could feel that way with you. Um, Queen of Cups here, Cancer Energy with the Sun in reverse. So there's a lack of clarity of how they feel. Um, and they, they don't want to be disappointed here. This is a big deal. Or they don't want to disappoint someone else. It could be you, though. Look at that Ace of Cups in reverse. They could be afraid of rejection or this not going well. Um, for some of you, or this is someone that's afraid that you may have lost love for them. Um, this can also be someone this person cares about, but they don't feel the same way. Something that they're disappointed with. Or they could be like, I don't know if I still love this person. Or if this person's, it's, it's, if you're the queen of cups here, cancer energy, um, for those of you in particular, this, this could be like, I don't know if I love this person, or I don't know if I can have this relationship, or if this person still loves me or feels, feels for me, you know, or has feelings for me. Being very unclear about that. There's a lot of questions that goes into this person's mind. And it's causing this delay in communication, delaying communicating in the high priestess. What what it is that they're thinking about and how they're thinking about certain things. Yeah. The tower with that nine of pentacles. Okay, so let's look at... Oops. So Scorpio energy there with the tower. So with that, it's like this. This is that change, right? This is that transformation. So wherever this person is currently, things would would transform. And that's what they're sitting in, this energy of looking at all the different things that would change and all the different ways that they could change. They're not communicating to you at this time, perhaps for some of you, or they're during the silence. They are using this time to work through these thoughts. Okay, sorry guys, I had to pause for just a second. I want to see about this high priestess. There's the awakening. Now that's judgment. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. Scorpio energy again. It's that it's the trans, the things that they're, this person's thinking about changing things, okay? The changes and changing things. What is this person, what do they want? 
Wait, hold on. Okay, let's let's look at this first. This Ten of Swords in the reverse. Meditation. The Hermit. There's a card that flipped over that I didn't see. It's the Ace of Wands in the reverse. This person's trying to come up with an idea. They're trying to come up with some sort of idea. Um, I think I said hermit, but this is actually the hanged man in reverse. Until they figure out how to have some kind of clean ending or how something is going to turn out or they're sure it's not going to be destructive in some kind of way. That's when this person's going to either communicate, come out of the cold, be expressive. They need to understand where they sit. It's, again, this very grounded energy of needing to understand, needing to have that sense of security. Because there's something here that they, and I feel like it's their own abundance, but it's what it, they're protecting themselves. Um, what does this person want with you? That is the um, page of swords. So they want to communicate. They want to figure you out. They want to know what you know, how you feel. We have the Hierophant, the Mystic. So they want to understand you. This is someone that wants to understand what you want and how it is that, that you feel. They want to understand what you believe in. Um, justice in the reverse they want they want to know what's fair what you feel like is fair what you feel like is right or yeah this person may be studying you as well trying to figure out like what you believe in or who you are or what you represent this is like someone that doesn't want any surprises later down the line, you know. <laughs> it's like finding out somebody's a, you know, I don't know. Finding something crazy about uh, out about someone like way down the line and it's like, wait a second, what? Um, they don't, they're trying to keep from that. They want to um, build a relationship here with you. They want to have a friendship with you, a connection. Um, that three of cups, queen of swords in the reverse, Libra energy. I don't think that they know what you want. Um, they don't want to limit this as well. This connection, they don't want to limit it to just a friendship, um, or be cut off by just having a friendship here with you. They want more than that. Two of swords in the reverse, but they feel like if this isn't just their decision, this isn't up to, just up to them in some kind of way, or this is a very difficult decision. If this person has cut you off from for friendship or that you have them, this is something that has been very difficult for this person. Um, two of cups in the reverse. So if this is something this person's, if there's someone here that they're trying to let go of, um, or if there's, like, I can't choose this at this time kind of energy that's here as well. Or at least until I better understand my situation or where I am. Um, like, this isn't my choice. I have to be disconnected. So for some of you, that's the case. They could have went cold on you here because they felt like they had to. Um, and the Empress is here. For some of you, this could be a mother figure getting in the way of the connection, or this could be someone that is a mother, or something like that, Taurus Libra energy. But this is about growing abundance. And this is someone that... Give me one more. They want to, like... 
have abundance here with you. They want to build some kind of friendship up here with you before they decide about the relationship. They don't know what they really want to do here. Yeah, five of, of swords in the reverse. They're trying to avoid doing something that they'll regret. You know, this is someone that just, that wants to, <laughs> it's like, okay, it's like going to a car lot, right? And you see a car and you're like, oh, man, I don't, I don't think I'm going to like that one. But there's something about it that, that's pulling you, man. And you're like, but I, I just, I really want to try it. I really, maybe I should try it. I really think there's something here. <laughs> I really want to try it. But no, I, you know, I can't afford it. I can't, you know, it's, it's not a good, it's probably not a good car. You know, it's not something you just kind of keep convincing yourself not to jump in that car. But then you finally jump in the car and you go for a spin and you're like, well, damn, I love this car. <laughs> like now I love it and I can't have it, you know, or now I love it. And it's just not what you expected it to be. And you also don't want to, but then you're stuck kind of in that position this is what I'm feeling here with this person. I just described it in the most weirdest way ever. Um, tell me about the page of swords. The queen of wands. So someone that wants to communicate what, that they feel confident in this, or they, and they want to be confident in this. This is someone that's like, they could be really like spying on you or researching you or, trying to figure you out because they they feel really attracted to you as well very drawn to you ten of one just came in reverse if you've had a lot of changes this person feels like that those have benefited you a lot um sagittarius leo aries energy there as well um and apparently the three of pentacles <laughs> so something's been working here this is someone like working for you here, you know, with these changes. This is someone that wants to have, I feel like they could want to have some kind of commitment or just want to work on understanding you better. Um, this is someone that's really looking in and spying on you. Justice in the reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. This person feels a little bit overwhelmed by some of the, by you. I mean, and I don't mean that in a negative way. It's like, you, you, it's like someone's world being black and white and you're bringing color to it. Um, what's that movie? I don't know. It has Reese Witherspoon in it though, but their world, they get stuck in the television and their world turns in, into color um, or goes to black and white and they don't have the color anymore, and then they start to get color, and like everybody's going for it. It's the same kind of thing I express with the car. It's the same feeling. Um, so it's hard to come back from that, you know? Um, what movie is that? I don't know what movie that is, guys. If y'all know it, will you put it in the comments below? Because now I'm, I wanna go watch it. <laughs> you have the full, that's the full. I'm describing the full energy. Mm hmm It's Aries energy. It's taking a risk, jumping off the ledge. This person would be taking a huge risk here. I said that earlier. The Ten of Pentacles, they could lose a lot, and you have the Five of Wands in reverse, and they're trying to make sense of that. Yeah, this is someone that could be saying, if I take this risk, I could lose everything. I have to be smart or I have to make sense of it before I do that. I need to be sure. Yeah. It can't be a situation. That's the Knight of Wands in reverse. It can't be a situation that, like, isn't going to, I'm not going to feel confident, solid about. This is someone that, May, you may be feeling like they're kind of hot and cold or they just go back and forth with taking a risk and what they're losing, taking a risk and what they could lose, taking a risk and the changes that could occur. Strength, Leo energy. 
And they're trying to have patience here. They're trying to, it's, it's causing them, it's making them have, have to have a lot of patience with themselves in their emotional space as well. Um, I need to be strong or I need to, do I need to be strong in this situation or, you know, can I step out? Side my comfort zone here or or not you know and this eight of swords is that it's it's them getting stuck in their head a lot you know self-blame beliefs are keeping them stuck they're not opening themselves up fully to what they're feeling and they're feeling very different from what they have ever felt i feel Anything else that we need to know about this person that we didn't get? Um, okay, so this person, King of Pentacles, or Knight of Pentacles, may be taking things slowly, very slow. Okay. The Six of Pentacles, they may be giving to the situation very slowly. Slowly being more open, slowly being more generous here. They have a four of pentacles in reverse until they feel like they can open up fully. Until they feel secure. You have you have this ten pentacles right here, the six and the four. They're going to go slowly here until they feel secure. And if they don't feel like the situation is giving back to them equally in some kind of way, this is someone that would let this go for their highest good or for what's best for them. Freedom, which is the same thing that this means for Pentacles in the reverse. Um, that's the chariot, which I just described. So if something is doesn't align with them, it doesn't fit with them, it doesn't make them feel like that's what's best for them, then it, then they will release it. But they want to go slow and give to the situation to figure that out. Um, and you have the nine of wands here at the bottom of the deck in reverse. So this is someone that's, it's like this is really difficult, but they're having a hard time giving it up as well. Interesting reading. Okay. Let's see what's shifting. Well, actually, let's see what this person would say, and then we'll see what's shifting. I'm going to have to get a drink of my coffee. Oh my goodness, it is so hot. <laughs> Still so hot, I forgot my coffee warmer. Started working again. <laughs> I was expecting cold coffee when I picked up my cup. Yeah, that's what I was described here earlier. This person, they weren't expecting what it was that, that they got, like the car situation. And now they have to have it. You know, I gotta have it. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. What would this person say to you? They could say anything. It's someone that you want more of. You know, that's how they feel about you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no one compares. That's exactly it. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. No matter how many people I meet and experience I have, there's no one that compares to you. We have your perfection and unclear. Yeah. <laughs> um, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. And then unclear. I don't know how I feel about this connection. This is what I was talking about earlier with that queen of, um, or that ace of cups that's there. Was that, was it? Was it the Ace of Cups? Anyway, what else would this person say? The future, yep. I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all, and then you have it. It's simple, really. How do you feel? I want you forever. <laughs> um, there's this, I'm laughing because it's that knot of ones in the reverse. It's very, like, back and forth. Um, being unclear 
and worried about the future, thinking about that, still listening. I still listen to the music that you've shared with me. I keep It keeps me connected with you, although we're apart. This person may be wanting to share music with you. Um, random thought. This person may be wanting to share music with you to express how they feel or they have or you have in the past. And now it's like, you know when someone sends you some songs and then things happen or whatever occurs and then later you go back and listen to them and you see, you see that song in a different way or you realize what that person may, may have been. What do they feel about? Was that about me? <laughs> it's that kind of energy that's there. Um, so that could be part of this, you know. Um, for some of you, why is that unclear here? Good gosh, this card. Um, it's been coming out a lot. We have Twin Flame here with unclear. It's out twice on the table. Paul 1 got Twin Flame twice too, guys. Um, you activated my soul to find my true purpose and destiny in life. You helped me to heal in ways that I couldn't, that no one else could. Thank you for finding me at this time, this time around. Um, it's this unclear about this connection. It's the whole thing, faded, un being unclear, wanting it, but hesitating, you know, and you have the future with this, it's on. <laughs> I see you looking good over there, moving on. I don't care who you're talking to, I'm better. I will compete for you. This person may feel as if they're worried about the future of the relationship, like what if you find someone else or what if you're with someone else? Um, it's like they may not be able to fully have you, and, but they don't want anybody else to have you either. This person knows that this is like, you're in a position to where you could be very single and that could change at any time. On the bottom of the deck, you have, is it true? Um, rainbows might be relevant. I don't know why. I had to pause. My son came in and then I looked at the camera and when I looked down, that looks like a rainbow here. And I talked about being color in someone's darkness here and I actually didn't even notice this in this card at that time but that's what this is it's like and that's that twin flame thing you know it's like the darkness is here and black and white and then you have this all this color that's over here um yeah and then is it true I heard you were dating someone is it true please tell me it isn't so this person is afraid that you're no longer, you could be no longer single or they're worried about that. Um, if you're talking to anyone. What's shifting here for Paul two moving forward at this? What's shifting? Third party situation. So for some of you, that's what's changing is something to do with the third party. Other people may be, hold on, other, two cards came out. Other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential. So that could be what's shifting here. We have deception. So again, for some of you, that's why this person is not, <laughs> is not coming towards you is because there's this third party thing here, you know, wanting something that you can't have. So that's there. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship and we have letting go. What's shifting? This person could be letting go of caring about what other people think. I did talk about gossip here with the parrot in her hand. Um, they may be letting go of what other people say or think. This They could be letting go with outside interference in some way or carrying a mask in this relationship, you know, wanting to be themselves. If someone will leave you confused more than comforted, then you need to reassess their assets to you. They could be letting someone go as well. That could be what's shifting and overthinking. This person's gonna stop overthinking. Well, thank gosh, because that's a, there's a lot of that here. 
Playing negative scenarios uh -huh, in your head is creating issues which aren't even there at first. Yeah, and this person is, that's what's going on here is they're creating issues that aren't issues, you know, um, or there's something that's around this connection in some way. Could be gossip um, about what they've heard about you or about what, uh, that's there for some of you. This person, they may have heard some things about you or they may be afraid of what people will say even is something that could be there with gossip in creating some kind of deception here around that or fear around that, anxiety around that is what this person may be letting go of. Um, and free yourself. We talked a lot about that um, with that groundedness and that four of pentacles in the reverse and that freedom card um, with the chariot in reverse. So free yourself. You don't need to be in control of everything for love, for a love relationship to be successful. This person, I feel like what's shifting is they're going to be releasing control where they are right now. And they, boy, they are, and they're trying to control this pretty significantly within themselves. Um, that's going to come to a close. I think this person's going to open up. If there's something else here that, that, that I think that's something that's going to be let go of, like especially overthinking. Prioritize self-care, number 24. You do so much for others, it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others to help you. So maybe that's what this person's doing. They're stepping into thinking about themselves and doing what's best for themselves here. Um, I definitely see that. On If someone leaves you confused and more than comforted, then you need to reassess their access to you. So this could be part of... Um, pers this person may be clearing out some toxicities in their life, even things that they know aren't, aren't good for them or people, places, things that they know aren't good for them. I pulled two. <laughs> I pulled friendliness, which is what came out in pile one, that weird, and inspiration. Some friendly inspiration. Um, whatever I, whenever I smile, I make someone stay better. What a cool way of being happy for free. A cool way to buy happiness for free. Today, I just remember what an awesome power I hold, and I'll take joy in improving lives simply by giving a grin like crazy. Note, in a pinch, money will work too. Then you have inspiration. This person feels really, um, and feels really good around you. This person feels really good around you. This person feels like you're somebody that inspires them or that gets them to see things that maybe they didn't they didn't see before or covered up that is inspiring to them. They feel like you're inspiring or that you are someone that is like takes really good care of themselves and that's inspiring to this person. There is a voice of inspiration within me. Right now it's only a whisper, but the more I listen, the louder it will get. Soon it will be a flawless speech voiced by James Earl Jones through a megaphone with lots of applause. Yeah, it's like this This person, there's something here, sign synchronicities, something that's telling them, you know, what they need to do. And it keeps getting louder and louder until they do something about it, you know, until they actually act on it. So let's see. In friendliness. You know how you meet people that make you want to do good things? <laughs> That's what this person feels. That's what this, this is a feeling of. And it has to do with themselves as well. Like they, you, you're you like a voice in their head that makes them want to do better for themselves or actually prioritize their own, their selves. Um, and that's rare, really. Because we all go through so much stuff, it's hard for us to be able to be that inspiration for someone else when 
there's just so many things that are going on right now, you know, and it's hard and it's hard to maintain it. This person, that's something that they haven't experienced a lot of. And it's something that's very captivating and really draws this person in. There's this epiphany that this person may have a conversation that I think that they want to have about the truth, um, the truth about this, about the actions that they want to take and wanting to be successful, wanting to like also the truth about the happiness that they feel here with you. Um, you have a Knight of Swords and the Sun, so Leo energy. I think the Sun came out in the bowl and Paul one. I can't remember. Family may be important to this person. There may be a lot more under the surface of things that they haven't expressed. Um, I feel like this person feels as if they want to take action towards what they feel like is going to make them happy. Towards their own happiness. We have F, M, O, and the hashtag. This person may have fear of missing out. I mean, that's... F-O-M. Um, I feel like this person just may have fear of missing out on a situation here. Okay, so I'm holding this up. Also, there may be some, you may be a mother or something to do with a mother it could be significant here. I think I said that earlier. I think we had the Empress. I talked about that a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to leave you guys here. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. It resonated and made sense, of course. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all your love and all your support and all your kindness. And I hope to see you guys soon. Okay. Hey, pal three. So if you chose the Penelope Tarot, this is going to be a reading. All right, we're going to set the tarot to the side. We're going to start here with some oracle cards. These are the Twin Flame Audi oracles. And we're going to use them to take a look at your person's overall energy and how they're currently feeling. And then we're going to use tarot to get more in depth. Okay. So, Paul three. Paul three. How is Paul three's person currently feeling spirit about Paul three? Paul three's person currently feeling about Paul three. We have communication here conversation and painting the roses red. This person may feel as if the communication between the two of you, you're just kind of painting over the situation. Um, all seeing eye, the truth, like you're just kind of painting over the truth of the situation here. Um, these are totally crooked and that's just going to drive me nuts. <laughs> Got to fix that. Um, I feel like this person is seeing things, feels like they're seeing that clearly or they're seeing things more clearly. Um, they're looking at this in a, in a different way. We have the proud rebel. Well, it's, this is a non-traditional relationship, perhaps rocking horses here as well, which is indecision, lack of consistency on and off relationship. So this person feels as if this relationship could be very on and off. Um, and you have creativity at the bottom of the deck, which is this person I feel like has a, a urge to express that they feel like that there's a lack of consistency, maybe, maybe having to do with the truth of this relationship or someone that's not following the rules in a relationship and they could feel like they're kind of painting over communicating that or expressing that or talking about that. Um, there's something that you may be doing that this person is seeing more truth in or understanding it more. And they feel like this is someone that's wanting to express themselves or feeling like, 
they're trying to fix something and it's not working. For some of you, I feel like this could be your energy. And I did mention at the, I think in the beginning of the reading, the intro about there being a pile that could, you may feel more like your energy, but take it how it resonates, okay? Um, let's get into the tarot and you'll be able to pick up on that. Overall, I feel like this relationship just lacks consistency. And it, I think this person could be looking at you as someone that, like, it doesn't stay fixed for long, or they just have to, they have, you have to keep making corrections here. You, they may feel like you're dishonest or you're not truthful with them, um, or, or what it is that you want from this relationship. Like, you're not conforming to the way that they want things is something that's here. And they're wanting to talk to you about that. They feel like you're just... It's a feeling of just someone that's not... It's like, they know. <laughs> they know how I feel about that and they continue to do it. Or they know how I'm feeling and they're not communicating to me. Or they're... There's a lack of consistency in the relationship and things going well, you know? And wanting to express it, wanting to talk about it. Tell me more. How is Pal 3's person feeling towards them at this time? The Six of Wands. Yeah, they're wanting recognition from you. And I feel like this is something they feel like maybe, maybe they're not quite getting. They want... They want you to see them. They feel like they're, you're not seeing them or understanding them. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. They see. They feel like you're not seeing their value. Um, or that things are just not going very well. You have a page of crystals here in reverse. So there's hesit hesitancy here. It's like someone that hasn't quite learned their lesson. Um, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so they're looking at their options, their choices. They're also afraid of um, getting, I feel like this person's afraid of being deceived. I feel a lack of trust here. The two of crystals. This person may be afraid that you're juggling them or they are afraid. Like they're looking at their options and they don't know what to do. Um, if this you feel like this is your energy, it's because you're needing to understand this. I had to say that. Um, especially with this two of crystals, the, the, the image on that card. You may be kind of stuck in a loop about things and not knowing what to do with the situation. Six of Wands here, please. Yeah, the Eight of, eight of Pentacles. This is someone that has been working on the relationship and they want recognition of that. Like, I've been doing my part. You know, I've been trying to communicate here. Um, trying to fix things. It's just not coming together and not working. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. There it is. Three of Swords in reverse. So there's been some kind of pain or upset or hurt. Forgiveness is here. It's like it's not going very well though. Like they're trying to forgive a situation, but they're having a difficult time by doing that. Or... They're not getting also the alone time that they want from you or time that they want. Like they're asking for more time with you perhaps and that's something you're not giving. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse is exactly what I just got done saying. It can also be that This, there's someone here that's 
feels like you're spending time on everything else or yourself and ignoring them. Even if this is a new relationship, it could be that this person feels like you're not interested because you're not, there's not time or energy being put into this. Hmm. This page of pinnacles can be like, if this person feels like they overgive of themselves, this could be a lesson that they just have not learned. So sometimes here when you overgive it yourself, what it does actually is, you know, you keep telling people, yes, you'll do this. Yes, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, I can do that for you. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then like people pleasing kind of tendency. And then, and then what happens later is you realize, you know, screw them. I'm tired. And you start to hold resentments over because people get comfortable and then they should start to expect whatever out of you. And you start to lose that thank you or lose that, you know, that feeling of that. And you start to hold on to resentments and then it can go unbalanced where it brings out feeling not so good, you know, and it, it, it brings out anger, it brings out frustration and, and you react that onto others when they're like, whoa, what? <laughs> um, that's something that's here and it, it can cause a huge ripple in a relationship or imbalance in a relationship. And it's a result of someone that is giving of themselves too much in expecting something in return. They could be expecting an apology they never get are expecting you to understand what they're saying without communicating what it is that they're, they're saying. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that can result from that. Tell me about this. Set. Okay. Yeah, the world in reverse. This person, I think that they're, They may be feel they may be feeling like the truth here or their perspective is that it may not they may not ever come together in the way that they want. Um that the world possibly that they have created of how things are going to go is not realistic or it's just an illusion. Um It could be that they go through like fearing that things are over. It's just an illusion and it's it's all going to work out, you know. There's a, f a false sense of reality. I feel like that this person is creating mentally too um, within this. Like making things seem like they're okay when they're really not. Is creating a false sense of reality. This could be like a lot of illusions of things. Um... And not being able to just see the truth clearly. Like, there's a lot of emotions that play into that. This person also could be looking for a way out. Or, like, if that happens, what direction that they would take? Or what? what how would that occur? Just a heads up, I guess. Give me, I'm going to get one more for that. Um, Knight of Swords here in reverse, which is not great. This, this person may come to a conclusion quickly, like suddenly just make a choice. Or they're worried about that with you, that you'll... I have to say, this person may think about this relationship moving moving too quickly or that they move too quickly. Give me some more about that. Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. Something that they didn't see before that they're now seeing. Maybe they made a decision or made an abrupt decision here. It could be with communication. They may have communicated their options. <laughs> this is like someone that gets upset and then they say, you know, I could do better. Um, and that could be something that 
they regret, you know, um, that they did out of frustration. It can also be that this person feels as if there's something to do with maybe you don't want a traditional relationship here or you're just not wanting to conform to what it is that they're desiring and the truth about that like the realization about that is coming to the surface there's something here that's coming out this person doesn't understand how they feel about some things that you've said as well about the relationship and the options that they have and it could be about not having a traditional relationship there's something to do with this that's here i'm gonna i'm gonna get deeper into that actually I'll do that now the hanged one the hanged man pisces energy here heavy which is about the unknown kind of secrets in karma and, and that's the 12th house it's it's like a your subconscious is coming out here about the hanged man seeing something in a different point of view there's something here that's said or will be said where this person is seeing their options in a different point of view you may also they may be feeling like that as well about you like you are seeing your options options here seeing them differently it's that night of dagger so it's something that was said it's making this person think you know the five of pentacles in the reverse <clears throat> has to do with coming out of the cold of a situation you know when you have a, a disagreement a fight and then you you make up but then there's things that the person said that you can't like you reanalyze let's say that you're like, why did they say that? Because there's some kind of truth behind that frustration, right? Something that's been building. You said something to this person here about them being an option or something where they felt that way. Having to do with moving on, wanting to move on. trying to move on past it but it's like they're they they're having a hard time they want to communicate to you this desire of coming out of the cold here um getting past the disappointments seeing things in a different way but they don't know how to express it because they don't know if it's something that's possible. I don't know if I can get over certain things. Um, eight of crystals. Nine of wands, popular card. Yeah, this person feels like they've had enough. You know, it's like this. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. So they feel as if things here, they've been working or doing a lot to try to get recognition from you. And they haven't received that. They haven't gotten that. Gotten that. Um, the four of pentacles. They could be trying to hold on to their... There's something here. Hold on. What is that about? The Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Wands in reverse. There's something about time and energy, like being determined to work something out, being determined to change the way that things are, are moving wanting to hold on to something that they feel like is valuable, but it has to do with that three of swords in reverse. So it's like they don't want to have to go through the pain 
of things not working out. So that could be why this person is holding on to this like they are. It's more of a slow fade than a, a quick cut off. That's what I'm feeling. Like, I don't, this isn't, this isn't in their conscious, right? It's not, it's something that's in their subconscious where they feel as if they, they're prolonging pain. They're prolonging their pain by trying to paint the roses red, trying to fix something here. And they've worked really hard at, at that. Or this is the way this person feels, whether you feel this way or not. This is the way that they feel, right? And it's like it's still not coming together. You're still not giving to them in the way that they want you to. You're not investing in them in the way that they want you to. Look at that. Seven of Pentacles. It's a card of investment. It's a card of investing into something. And I feel like that, yeah, this is someone bottom line that feels like you're not on board with them. It's also someone that could f have felt like they've gotten into a situation that they felt like was a good opportunity. Maybe a rebound or where they were coming off of healing from a situation and they felt as if this was like a good opportunity, something they wanted to hold on to. But you may have wanted different things and this person tried to conform to your idea, hoping that if they invested time and energy into this, that it would change your, your idea of the relationship could possibly change. And that's something that's not happening or hasn't happened. And then there's a little bit of this person running out of patience for that. Now, I understand what I'm saying here. And <laughs> I totally disagree with that whole thing. But this is, this is the way this person's feeling about this. And it's just like, and, and there's no negative energy around it. It's just like someone saying, well, I want to stick it out because I feel like this is a good thing. And over time, maybe they'll change their mind and hoping for the best. But then again, that's creating a sense false of a false sense of reality. It's creating an illusion. It's like someone saying, well, I'm, I'm not in love with you right now. And it's like, well, I'm going to keep investing. They'll, they'll fall in love with me before too long. And then getting upset with the other person for not doing that when they told you in the beginning that's, that, that they didn't. You know what I mean? That's something that's here. And it's humbling, I think, in a, in a way for this person. And they haven't, it's not, they haven't grasped that yet fully. It's not in their forefront. You know what I mean? They're, it's They haven't grasped it fully. Um... Death and reverse. This person could idealize relationships and do this a lot to where they create this fantasy world, but it's not really what reality, it's not the reality in the situation. Um, this can happen. Sorry about that. Um, son walked in. This can happen when there's someone that have they've grown up grown up with having to have a good imagination because the reality that they were living in was not so great. Um, they could be experiencing or around a lot of things like that. So when they get into relationships, they really fall for the fantasy of it and they kind of put the reality of the situation to the side so they could find themselves with people that are, well, it's just not going to work out. It's just it's going to end badly or they, they start on um, a fantasy or a heavy risk or something to this nature where it's always like a fairy tale story. Um, and then creating this illusion in their mind to where they have these expectations of it. And when those aren't met, they get upset. But yet in the beginning, there was boundaries that were set in the, in the first place, right? And it's like they just kind of saw past that or saw over that. It's not, they're not doing it intentionally. It's just 
how they've learned, you know, um, the death in reverse is someone that doesn't want something to change. They don't want it to be over. So they're looking at all these different ways of seeing the truth of the situation that is not real because they don't want something to end, even if it's not, if it's something that they're, that's not good for them. They're afraid of change. And that's what keeps them maybe stuck in a lot of situations. I just went all over the place with that, I feel. There's the fool. There's the change. There's the leap. Taking a risk. Aries energy. I feel like this person... You would take a risk at losing them. This is something that they think about. If you've said this to this person that you, they can, it's that conversation of you can leave, I'll be fine, that kind of energy, or, you know, in the heated of the moment, that that's what they're having a hard time letting go of is that you don't need them or you said you didn't need them in some kind of way. And this is most definitely someone that wants to feel needed. Um, wanted and needed are not the same thing. And if this person has some people-pleasing tendencies, then they're someone that thrives off of that, wanting, feeling needed. Um, and when they don't, it, it, it presses on their, how they feel their, their worthiness within themselves. Um, and this may be something that this person, if you've said something to this person about something like that, boy, it, it really triggered some of those wounds. The Queen of Pentacles. Could be a mother wound as well, like needing to please a mother figure. Um, or it's just, again, their worth with that Queen of Pentacles. This is someone that could have also took a risk with commitment. Again, they could have wanted you to take a risk on them and commit to them or marry them. The Queen of Pentacles is the wife energy. Judgment in reverse, yeah. And you're not making that judgment call. You're not choosing them or you're not committing judgment. In reverse, Scorpio energy. What does this person want with you? Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. I mean, that's it. They want all of your love. Every bit of it. This is someone that wants you to romanticize. Romant oh my gosh. King of Cups. <laughs> this is somebody that really wants a romantic and deep emotional relationship here with you. And I um, take it from this reading that's something that they're not getting. Um, you have Cancer Scorpio energy here with that Knight of Cups being in the middle. They want you to pamper them. This is someone that wants you to offer them love and affection and, again... You, when you people please like that, you also, ex, like I went through, expect that from other people. And if you're not giving your time and energy and love to this person, then it's like they really want their cup filled, you know. And they want a relationship here with you that is very emotionally intimate. Um, and then how to ones. Um, wow. Wow. I mean, this is somebody that wants to have, this is somebody that just wants to have those romantic experiences. They want to have passion and love and romance. And this is the, fan, this is the fantasy idea of a relationship. Like what I talked about before. Queen of Cups. Look at that. Ace of Cups in the reverse. They want their cup filled. 
they don't feel this from you, not of cups. And I mean, I don't know your situation. So you have the page of daggers in the reverse. They want you to tell them how, how you feel. They want you to express um, and you're not giving them that. You have a four of wands in the reverse. Wow. This is someone that could want marriage with you here and they're not getting that either. These are all the blockages and it's all what we've already kind of talked about. Tell me about the, or they want a commitment or a reunion um, or to fix the situation here, the moon. This is somebody that wants you to just kind of get lost with it, within them. Wants you to kind of get lost with them. Um, this is someone that would even, like, they want you to... It's like someone that wants the other person to be very, mis like... Just know how they, what they want and how they want it. This person's looking for, um, yeah, the five of da daggers is the bottom of the deck, which is conflict. This person wants this to change. If the, it's like they're saying, if, if we could just fix this one thing, everything would just fall into place. If it was just, if, if I just got this, this is like someone that's kind of spoiled in a way. Like if I just got this, then it would all be fixed until they're unhappy again. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's see what this person would say. I recognize this energy, guys. I actually, this is something that I healed from. And unfortunately, you know, we have things about ourselves that we don't like um the way that we are and it most of the time it comes from what we've what our brains have been taught um what we've experienced and mine and this what i saw here was um the trauma that i experienced when i was little was i always was very introverted and wanted to escape to had the best imagination ever. It was because I was already always living in that imaginary world. It was so much better than what was going on around me in the physical world. Um, things that I, my br little brain couldn't even comprehend or understand. And, you know, I carried that on to relationships because I got into marriage very young. And I carried it into my relationships. And it, this is how it progressed. Um, I would continually overgive myself so that I could please the other person. I would, I would get what I needed from them and everything that came up that I should have had boundaries with or I should have expressed or I should have let go of. I overlooked, I painted the roses red um, because I wanted to maintain that sense of fantasy. It was like um, the same, I just relived the same experiences that I did when I was little. And you don't know it until you know it. You know it. <laughs> and then, then you know it. And then it affects, then it changes you. Um, attached to my ex. So this could be someone that's still attached to a situation with their ex. I'm attached to my ex emotionally and physically or spiritually. And I need, I need, and um, I need time and space to break this connection. So this is someone that, I said that before, they could have jumped into this relationship here with you off of something they haven't quite healed from. We have tears. When I think about you, I cry and obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time, stalk your socials and hope I run into you when I'm out. Um, something to say, yeah, the communication that's here. There's something that I really want to share with you. I'm waiting for the right time to tell you. Tell me more about this. 
This is someone that could always feel too like they have something new to, to, to express to you, but it's actually the same thing, just in a different way. It's just their new understanding about it. But to you, it's like the same thing again. Or they're just now understanding something that you've already been trying to express. What else would this person say? They could also do a lot of spying on you too. That page of pentacles, they could be trying to figure out if you're in love with someone else or if you're romantically involved with someone else. Um, yeah, spoiling you. And I, I told you, <laughs> I want to give you the good in life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips, everything that you can ever need and want. You deserve nothing less. So this is someone that may like go above and beyond. And it's because they're wanting that same kind of energy out of you that's but they overdo it and then they're not listening to you when they when you say that that's not what you want or you can't do that i i have have my kids this could be someone as well that wants to have kids or can't with tears and i have and have my kids is here um i want to have a family with you i know that you'd be an amazing parent and i dream of a day that i can experience raising a family together we have run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Yeah, this is someone that's kind of obsessing about just leaving all the problems in the past and just kind of jumping into, let's just let it all go and jump into something new, you know? And it's like that fantasy starts all over again. It's like having a friend in your fantasy world. <laughs> um, come with me. <laughs> Can you see? Um, how does that go? World of pure imagination. Um, I don't know the words to that song, but it's on Willy Wonka. Yeah, this is someone that wants you to just jump in their world of bowling you and the good life and just yeah and painting the roses red there one more this could even be about kids like maybe this person thought that you would you didn't want kids or you said you didn't want them but then after a while that you may change your mind about that and you haven't won't resonate for everybody others opinion there could be a lot of other people. Okay, this is also someone that would very much play the sympathy card, okay? So there may be a lot of other people that will say, well, I'll talk to them or or have them on their side in some kind of way. Um, and they may feel also uh, afraid of what other people would, how other people would perceive if, if the two of you were having any issues as well. That's something they don't want to, you know, they don't want to put their stuff out there in that way. Um I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. It could be that they have a certain belief in how a relationship's supposed to be. And there may be a lot of people that have a lot of stuff to say about that. And we have I'm single here. So this person, if they want commitment or if they want marriage and you are someone that is one in a, a non-traditional type of relationship that's something that they could feel like their family or their friends or it's just their culture or something like that their belief system doesn't fit around that and they want to discuss it or talk about it um i'm single right now i'm not attached to anyone and not looking to get into a relationship at this time and those mother wounds didn't i say that earlier um didn't i say that was it y'all's reading or was it the other no it was y'all's reading yeah, it was y'all's reading that Queen of Pentacles. There's something to do with a mother having an opinion here on their life in some kind of way or wanting to please someone. My mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy with me within me and externally. So they may put their worth on their value of how important they are, you know. Because maybe they didn't get that from a, a mother, you know, that they're, they were important um, or words and aff affirmations, you know, or um, then they felt like they never could make their mother proud or they want to, you know. And this could be also if their mother's wanting them to have kids and get married and all this stuff and they're trying to conform to that. 
but yet they're single now. There's something to do with having pressure here from an outside influence. If they were to leave the situation or if they were to get out of the situation and be careful with this because this could be something this person kind of gaslights you about. It's like trying to make you feel guilty in some kind of way about that. Or if they are a mother of your kids or if um, they are, they have a child or something like that. This is someone that could throw something like that in your face um, to try to gaslight you. Um, so just be careful of that if, if, if you were to leave the situation or if they were to leave. You know if I left that, you know, it's just that kind of thing is there. So just be careful of that. Okay. Um, I don't like talking about the kids stuff because I've been in a lot of situations pertaining to kids and different kinds of scenarios and ways and tons of stuff. Um, I think just all over the board. So, um, it does definitely make me feel a little emotional too, but that's it. This person made tears and I have kids. This person may bring that up. There's a sense of making you feel guilty. So just be careful of that. Um, all in perfect timing. Number one, this is it. It's time to take action now. I'll be here to help you every step of the way. So if you're leaving this situation or walking away from this, then there's your door. You may have a window of opportunity come up so that you know what choice to make as well. Um, someone new is coming, so there, it could be that you may be getting into a new relationship um, or someone new, because you have a one and a 10 here, 28. Yeah. If you, there's something to do with being in a new relationship that's here. Someone new is coming, an important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. So there's a new relationship, guys, if you want it. Um, or, I mean, I, we all have free will. So, I mean, if this is something, I don't know your situation with this person outside of this reading. So if there is a situation here you still want to maintain or grow or build, depending on where you are with this person, then I'm definitely not making giving you advice telling you to leave this person. I'm just reading the cards, right? Um, but if you feel like the doors open and there's timing that comes where you just have this knowing that this is what you need to do or whatever that is, they're saying when you do, or if you do, that some, someone new will come in. Um, someone that I feel like is very different from this with an open heart and a mind. Sometimes we get stuck or stay in relationships that are just not good for us. And before we know it, we've been in there forever. And then we get familiar or comfortable with that person. And then we don't want to step outside of our comfort zone. Um, and it could be material things as well, you know. What advice do you have for clarity? Clarity. And this orange is peeling himself and putting himself in the trash. So it's like... needing to understand yourself it's also all this orange energy reminds me of the sacral chakra so like having confidence in yourself and feeling like you have some sense of power here and and not feeling powerless in a situation is something that's here that may be shifting or changing something that you're going to be unlocking um and knowing what's good for you and what's not, or how, what you need to do to, in order to serve yourself. Um, <laughs> serving up his self here. Stepping to listen to my inner, stopping to listen to my inner self, I can easily separate my intuition from my mental chatter. The clarity of my intuition is a sweet, simple fruit that tastes familiar. And the mental chatter is a confusing, bitter rind that I shall peel off and chunk into the garbage or compost heap if you have mental chatter happens to be organic. Hmm. Okay, so let's get some initials to close. Wait, 
I'm missing something. I knew I was missing something. I forgot to do this. I wanted to see what would be shifting with these cards. I almost missed this, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. What will be shifting here? I feel like I spent more time on y'all's, but maybe I didn't. I got interrupted, so. What will be shifting here for Paul 3 with this person? Look at that. Beware of codependency. Addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life. I think, I mean, obviously from what I described, that is a description of codependency. So pay attention to the signs. You may be picking up on this person's behavior more. Um, the synchronicities have been, have, you have been noticing are not synchronicities. Um, what's shifting here? Sure, come on out. We have third party. So other people with this other's opinion may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential here. So being afraid of what other people think or say or will or whatever. We have balance here. Um, there needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be sustainable. So I feel like this is going to be up to you guys. I mean... I'm just going to be honest with you. As far as what's shifting, I feel like there is a chance balance. There's a chance for balance to take place, but I think it's up to you how you see that balance for you, which is something I brought up here, anyways. Um, and then you have past lives at the bottom of the deck. You know, you have known this person before. It is a soulmate from a past lifetime. And look at that. Take your power back. They are the one. You have already met the romantic part. You see it in distance. You may have a... Um, some of you may have someone else with that two of pentacles. Um, that won't resonate for everybody. There may be someone from your past that's returning here. Um, that's not, I know what y'all don't like to hear, but it could just be someone that you know. Um, someone that you've known before, what it says. You are giving someone control over how you feel. Your happiness should be only dependent on you. This could be someone that you're at a distance from, um, or you've been distant from. Um, interesting. Okay. What was I going to get? Initials. That got me just so sidetracked. <laughs> um, finding stability is what's going to be shifting here. Whether that's with this person, without this person, you're going to be finding a sense of stability with what it is that you want. You have the key here to the change. Now, the snake, when it sheds its skin, it's painful for the snake. Just like when you're releasing things that don't serve you anymore, aren't good for you, or you're taking a new opportunity here, or you're at a crossroads in your life, it's a change that's going to hurt, right? Um, somehow, shape, or, or another. And you have the chameleon here, so adapting to the changes as, as you go is something that I see. And then you also have the, the go towards what sets your heart on fire here. That's the green dragon, green color of the heart chakra here. So look for that peaceful place, what brings you peace, um, but yet have compassion here and what it is and what it isn't that you're going to tolerate and yeah, and moving forward. And if you have there is the sense of codependency that's here with this person and giving too much of themselves. So if you have an unbalanced heart chakra, that could happen. So I do feel like that there's possibly something of this person's past that caused them for their heart to not be in balance. So they could have trust issues. They could lack empathy at times. So they don't understand, can't understand how you feel in a situation. Um, they can be kind of hateful with their words or bitter at times. Um, 
and they could give too much of themselves when they have a love for someone, which causes issues. And that's that codependency. It could also cause jealousy as well. That was a lot, I know, <laughs> right there at the end. Um, and then you also have F, P, Q, R, and A. Wrap. Maybe you need to wrap about it. <laughs> Maybe you need to wrap it up. <laughs> um, take that how it resonates. <laughs> um, what else? Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave you here. Rest and rest. Rest in peace is what I just heard in my head. Not rest in peace, rest and peace. I just got done telling my sister, you know, sometimes I just wish my phone, I was actually on a cruise because when you go on a cruise, you don't have any service. <laughs> and I was like, that would be my excuse. I am on a cruise right now and I don't have my phone. I'm sorry. Because some days my phone just won't stop going off. And there's people I want to talk to, but then there's people you just don't. <laughs> and you're like, good grief, I can't get anything done. That might be this way with this person. Like you can't focus or feel like you can be yourself or get what you need done or you just need time to yourself is what they're saying rest and relaxation you know peace when you have peace you have more mental clarity so that's here all right guys i'm gonna leave you here and i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope this made sense i hope it brings you some insight some clarity and good luck to you guys with this and i hope to see you soon